away from that, May's production in Ghana has recently been battered with the fall army worm invasion. Though government adopt, adopted the use of chemical pesticides, it proved ineffective at reducing the pest infestation. Moreover, concerns were raised about the residues of the pesticides in crops on human health. Now, the Crops Research Institute of the Council for Scientific and Industrial Research is promoting the adoption of a technology dubbed the push-pull farming practices to reduce infestation and damage of maize by four army. Love of Films' Chrissy Debra has take Thursday for today. Outbreak of the four army worm in 2017, CSIR, CRI, has taken a keen interest in finding appropriate ways of eradicating the menace by leading and participating in a number of research interventions. One of such interventions is a pool push strategy. Uh, I am Stephen Yabua. I'm a research scientist at Crop Research Institute and agronomist by profession. With this technology, we have three components. We have our maize crop. In between the maize crop, we have our desmodium plant. And outside the, the fold, we have a an elephant grass or napier grass. What happens, the science behind all this technology is that the desmodium will push the insect pest, the army worm, and then the elephant grass at the border will attract the army worm. So once the desmodium push the army worm from the fold, the elephant grass attracts the army worm, and then the insect pest sit on the elephant grass and therefore free the, the maize from infestation. So as you can see, if you look at the leaves of this maize, we didn't spray against any four armyworm infestation insecticide. No insecticide was used on this fold, but the leaves are very clean. There was no infestation in terms of uh, destruction or any other damage done to the leaf. What we are trying to do is that with this uh, four armyworm infestation in Ghana, if we are not able to manage it, then it's going to affect food security situations in the country because maize is a food security crop in Ghana. And then without any intervention, especially non-pesticide approach of fighting for armyworm, which will have environmental benefits, then we are going to be in a very serious situation in, 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 in future. So all what we are trying to do is to exploit this non-pesticide approach to manage for armyworm infestation for, for increased maize production and for enhanced food security in the country. I'm Patricia Otenda. I'm a soil and water engineer and part of the push pull research ongoing at the CSIR Crops Research Institute. The push pull technology has several benefits. Among them is the fact that um, the intercrop, which is the desmodium and the napier grass, are also livestock food. But what the soil and water engineering team is currently looking at in this system is the water conservation model that this um, system applies. Currently we have an intercropping system where the desmodium is used or intercrop between the maize. The desmodium is also a cover crop covering the soil surface, thereby reducing evaporation from the soil surface. So in effect, we are reducing the evaporation and conserving moisture in this system for the maize plant to use during seasonal droughts or in-season droughts. One major advantage that can be identified with this system is its sustainability. The legume that we plant, the desmodium, is a drought tolerant crop. The farmer doesn't need to plant it every year, so is the napier grass. So once you establish the napier grass and the desmodium, what the farmer does is to come in every season to plant the maize. And this is a very sustainable way of improving our soil fertility, managing for lamy worm, and also conserving soil moisture for effective plant growth. The fodder can be used as raw material for animal feed production in the government's wearing for food and jobs program. <laughs> 